Ah, uh, yes, hello. So, um, yeah, I have a new life prerogative that if my life is not surrounded or enveloped within things that provide me same serotonin levels as the song Chikatita by ABBA, but I am truly not living my life to the fullest. So I made it my life purpose for the time being. I will probably change my life purpose later on. But my life purpose as of this time is to make my surroundings provide as much happiness as the song Chikatita by ABBA. Because if your surroundings are not providing Chikatita to your happiness, then why even bother, you know? So here we are. Because my bathroom was not providing a comparable amount of brain chemicals as the song Chikatita by ABBA. And I decided that that was not gonna stand. So, yeah, I, I redid my bathroom. Anyway, here's the video. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I decided I did not want to blow dry my hair so my hair is probably gonna dry throughout this portion the commentary portion of the video so that should be fun today I am going to bring you along the journey of me redoing my bathroom I feel like most teenagers have a Pinterest account called home decor or bedroom or house or something along that line. And I am one of those teenagers, you know? And of course, I share those beautiful visions and dreams and desires with my family. And my bathroom, I shared my bathroom with my brother who is actually 30. He is no longer here in my house. He lives yonder elsewhere. I have a sister that is 16 months older than me. Love right I adore her but she is going to college and so this bathroom is going to be mine I am a lone wolf now so I get to make things mine so my mom was like yo you want to redo the bathroom you could and that is how the thesis the premise the ask the the whole idea of this whole process, this whole project began. So I guess now is the time to introduce you to the before state of the bathroom, right? Let's take you there. to the place where I shit and where I shower, aka my bathroom. Little fun fact about my house, I have lived here pretty much my whole entire life, so I do not remember my first house, like, at all. So this is literally my childhood bathroom. However, this bathroom has seen some changes before. It got painted blue maybe when I was in third grade. This bathroom also has no windows, which is quite a predicament, but this blue is kind of icy and I'm not digging it anymore. So I kind of want to repaint it and I've been asking my mom like hey can I repaint this bathroom for a while now also you see here you can see in the reflection we have these bird things that we got at Target I don't really get the, the appeal of the birds necessarily but you know what it was the thing of the time however it's not my thing the lighting is going to be really wacky in here so please bear with it this entire video is just gonna be weird okay <laughs> I'm sorry about it so if you watch my vlogs you probably have seen this background before if not this is a new place for you, so welcome. The mirror we just put in when we kind of redid the bathroom and put this granite countertop and painted the cabinets because they used to be oak, now they're white. So when we did all of that remodel um, a while back when I was in middle school, uh, we also got this mirror and these lights. So we're gonna keep them there also. Those things are expensive, so we're not gonna buy them. So those things we're gonna keep. However, a big thing I have an issue with. You see all these bottles and all these different things? There is no content continuity and if AP World History taught me anything it is that continuity is something you always look for so we want bottles we want continuity we want something more appealing to the eye than this this freaking rug this freaking rug guys I'm telling you this is gonna go it's really natty we've had this rug for years now we want something that's gonna be kind of like a statement piece we just painted these cabinets like I said but inside of the cabinets I try to be organized because I don't know if you guys know this but I'm the one who folds the laundry so I actually put labels in all this but I think I'm gonna emboss labels when I redo it because it's gonna go with the theme or whatever as much as labels can go with the theme we're gonna go with the theme but these freaking towels are all over the place 
there's no consistency in my towels and like I said AB World taught me that continuity is a great thing so we're gonna get some new towels also our towels are kind of old so we just want to get some new ones the birds of doom these birds have seen me vomit they've seen me shit they've seen me pee they've seen me shower they have seen everything their poor little souls are so exposed they are just they're they're scarred. But yeah, that is a little preface and little tour of the bathroom beforehand. At the beginning of the 2020 distance learning, that whole shenanigan, the whole chunk of time that we're still in, right? I redid my bedroom because my room also used to be blue. I don't know if you guys can tell, you might be colorblind, but my room is no longer blue. However, I do like changing my room quite a bit and my plants, like I literally just did this the other day. I constantly change things all the time. So let's go to the sample Board, where we test a various variety, various variety, I don't know. <laughs> so we know what color white we want. It's quite literally a joke in my family that I'm just slowly painting my whole entire house white. I don't see the issue with it, honestly, but 50 shades of gray, it's more like 50 shades of white. But let's go to that. Welcome to day one of testing samples. I don't know if there's gonna be a day two or not. We will see. I'm hoping not. For simplicity's sake, I really hope that there won't be a day two. We won't know until later. Only future you will. I'm gonna go back in and do a second freaking digging coat and then I'm going to start with my second color. It's really dark. Okay, so I literally just did it in the one spot and I can already tell because I want to keep the shower curtain that these are not going to go together. You can't even see the wall. <laughs> in real life, they definitely do not go together, whereas burst white looks phenomenal. So I really think it's just going to be birched white. Brighton cream is a little bit too cool tone. So, anyway. Alrighty, folksies. I quite literally, the moment I painted it on the wall, knew that I wanted to go with birched white. I just knew it. And it was very, very easy just to be like, yeah, I want to go with this. Do you guys agree kind of thing to the rest of my family? Because, of course, I'm not the house owner, so I don't get to make that final decision. So I did just, like, pull everybody in the bathroom. It was, like, thoughts. And they're like, yep, we agree. So the next day, I went to Menards, got the paint, because it is a Dutch boys paint. I I'm pretty sure that was the sample we were looking for when we redid my bedroom and repainted it. My color is bright and cream in here. We went with birch white. We went to Menards, grabbed a gallon of it and we slap that baby on and here's the painting process
and a lot of painting and I did not capture all of it because I don't want you guys to just sit there and watch like 10 minutes of me painting for absolutely no reason when there's a lot more creative things I can do with this video. So we're not going to do that. So I'm going to stop the painting montage here. You're welcome for that. Hi, it is many, many minutes later. It is 5.45 p.m. now, and we are done painting. My sister helped me for quite a while, and then she started getting a headache, and so then I finished up. And it took us like five coats, at least with the trim, like the cutting. It took us like five coats with the cutting. It took us like three coats with rolling. Pro tip, if you guys are going from a darker kind of medium color to a white or an off-white, definitely make sure that you have enough paint, depending on the brand. I only need one gallon of it and I didn't even use the whole gallon. Just in case you're wondering about how much paint, that's how much paint. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to start putting things back. But yeah, anyway, it looks really, really good. Of course, everything started coming in the mail pretty, pretty soon and I just wanted to show you guys everything. It was really fun because I like getting packages a lot. When you're a teenager, you get packages. Anyway, so I got lots of mail shipped to my name and it's so cool, but I hauled a lot of it So here is the haul footage from all the packages that I got um, Yeah, cue the haul Hi there guys so it is June 29th. This is the first clip I'm actually filming for this video, but it's also the first clip for the haul section. So it's probably going to be a little bit later in the video. I don't know. About a week ago or so, maybe a little bit less than that, I sat down with my mom and my dad and we kind of did the map of the plan with and we finally ordered some stuff so the things can start coming in the mail. I want to do the haul part. So besides getting a bunch of college mail, I also got some packages, which I'm very excited for. We got one little tiny one, one of these guys, and then we got a huge box, but I don't know what's in it. All right, let's get into the opening. So I definitely want to open this one first because I'm very curious which sign came first because I have a couple that I ordered. So I want to do this one. Oh, wait, really? Okay, I'm back with scissors because I figured I would need them. Now. The thing about this is that I was expecting the space to be like this big. Okay, and so for this big one, it's an assortment of things. Yay. A black cat and company. And then we have a second one that also goes with it. It's another black cat and company. Then I have these little hanging things, which are going to hang up and frame those posters I just showed you. Then, for continuity's sake, I got a bunch of little amber containers. And so I got four of these. Yeah, I need some. But it's very nice. I really like this brand. They do a really good job with their macrames. And they're really cheap. Yep, this is a little diffuser thing. This is a little tray for like jewelry and stuff that I'm gonna have on the counter. Just the please wash your hands sign. It's cutesy. This I think is a little Himalayan salt lamp that we got that's a night light. It's just another little amber dish and this one is for baking soda. Now that sounds weird. It whitens your teeth. So that's what this is for. Or it's for your cocaine. Either way, you know. Anyway, that is all for what I got today. I will pop in in literally two seconds for you. Maybe in a week for me. Who knows? But I'll pop in with more stuff. Hi guys. So today is part two of the haul. And today I actually got my rug for the bathroom. Of course, I'm not going to set it up today because I'm actually going to be doing sampling and I want to wait till I'm painting and everything until I actually set that all up. But I'm going to unbox it now with you guys so i'll insert the picture on the side right now so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like hopefully it looks like it for a lot of good reviews so i'm thinking it should be good so let's hope this is so pretty this is so pretty 
Okay, I'm gonna go put it in the bathroom and see what it looks like. But I'm not gonna keep it there because I need to go do samples. So it's almost, I think it's exactly like the picture and it's the perfect length. It's so gorgeous, guys. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. I love it. Hi guys, happy. It's just like the third or fourth part of the haul part. But hello, welcome to another part of the haul. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing the shelf for the bathroom where it's gonna go above the toilet. So I got this actually yesterday, but I was painting the bathroom yesterday, so I did not unbox it yesterday. Anyway, I got a shelf in the mail. Oh, so we have like metal rods for it. We also have beautiful shelfy part of it. Voila, shelf. I'm in love with you. Just because. Joy and pleasure to millions of music lovers. Okay, the next part of the haul, I actually just got back from Target. And this is going to be a big part of the haul. I went to Target and I got some cute things. So I'm going to show you guys them. Bag number one. We got these towels. They just look like this. We got ZE cinnamon towels. We also got creamy towels. It kind of looks white, but they're cream. It's cream. I swear it's cream. And we got foresty green washi cloths. No, these are hand towels. Of course, we have different washcloths of all the different colors too. And then we have this bath mat. This is a magnolia one. This opal house one. And then we have a gold kind of bronzy trash can. Wash the special wrapped them. Toothbrush holder. Um, cardamom and Viviter. It's this one in this kind of container and this kind of container. And that's my Target haul. I don't know. I'm going to look at my PowerPoint and see if I forgot anything. If I did, I'll just Target curbside it or I'll just order it and ship it to my house. All right, everybody, that's everything I got. And now it is time within the process to start putting things on the walls and putting things in places, hanging things up and decorating. Like, this is like the best part. So anyway, this is the part that actually took the longest and it's actually still going on when I'm filming this because my Ikea packages actually have not arrived yet, but we're gonna pretend that they did in the video. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, this is the decorating process. We love it. So then we have the three signs. We have the please wash your hands. We have the black cat and sink company wash your paws. And then we have black cat and sink company wash your paws. This one. I need to figure out how I want to lay them out. So that's what I'm going to do now. So my next part of this project is going to be going through this little towel cabinet because we have a ton of Mitch Mat Mitch Match. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. Um, towels. And a lot of them are kind of old, and so I just want to go through them and make a goodwill. Good. I cannot speak today. Make a goodwill pile, and also make a keep pile, and also make one that's like to go downstairs for like period towels, you know. And then I'm gonna make new labels that are nicer for this cabinet. So that's the plan. Alrighty. Alrighty, so then I'm going to just check off the tide. So I think I'm going to run a load of towels because I don't know, COVID, germs, everything. I know the smear contagion is pretty low still. We're trying to be safe here. But yeah, I'm going to do a load with literally everything. Alright, so I finished organizing this cabinet where we store all of our towels. I, what I did is I got three of each color of hand towels and three of each color of bath towels. Anyway, so what I did is that I put these are both going to be body wash cloths or kind of used for the same thing and then these are older feet wash cloths so what i did is because we don't have anything here i just shoved it towards the back because it just looks cleaner in my opinion and then things don't fall in the back and then get cluttered so i just pushed it towards the back i know people don't do that in the stores because they want things to look full so then they do it like that but we're not a store so. the front. <laughs> <laughs> whoa Oh, 
Alrighty, so I got the shell. Props to Papa for helping me out with that. So I am now going to put some things up on there. I have not placed my order for Ikea yet, but once I do that, then I'm going to put some plates up and they're going to like dangle down. It's going to be super cute. But in the meantime, I'm going to decorate it with whatever I have now. So I'm going to do that quickly. Cool. Alrighty, folks. My bathroom is now complete. It is now done. So, yeah, you've watched pretty much, I don't know how many minutes of this video, but if you're still here, here is the final product. Yay! Okay, enjoy this montage of my final bathroom and a mini bathroom tour. Yay! Welcome to the new and improved place of shits. <laughs> Welcome to the new and improved bathroom of the Eden Ray. Come on in. <laughs> ah, shoot. This bathroom is quite potage. It's quite potage. So, I would like to think my place of pooping has drastically improved in the last week or so. I think so. I think so. So again, we are going to kid ourselves for a little while to pretend that these plants are actually the permanent plants in here, but I'm actually going to put different plants in here that are fake from Ikea. These are my other plants that are in my bedroom and are from elsewhere in the house that I stole or borrow. I'm like the Grinch, but a little less festive and a little less spiteful, petty. I don't know. I'm like the, yeah, okay, whatever. So, voila. This is, is the shower curtain. Very lovely. I like it a lot. Great. Of course, when you first walk in, this is what you see. Marvel in the greatness of my bathroom. I'm going to show you around now. Here's a little 360 of the bathroom. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Take you off the tripod because it's in my way. So like I said, there is a rug from Amazon here. I love this rug. We're still working on getting the corners unrolled or like flattened, you know? But it is a beautiful rug and it goes so well with the glory of the bathroom. <laughs> I love the continuity throughout the bathroom. Look how cute this is. Like it's so... But as you can see, there's a bottle, bottle, bottle. Everything's just so cohesive and lovely, lovely. I'm not going to go super in-depth because you've watched this whole video, so. Of course, the new little light is so cozy and warm. I love it. But the biggest thing that I think is made a difference is adding new decor in the signage. So there's the black cat bathroom signs, which are this one and this one. They actually say the same exact thing. They're just different styles. And the please wash your hands. All three of these are from Amazon. This orchid is from my living room. Stole it temporarily. It will be a vase from Ikea with some fake flowers. Moving to your left, we have the toilet with the school table. And above it, we just have the Kleenex, which I'm just going to keep there. Nothing too special. But this shelf. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. So we got this plant, this plant, and this plant. Or this is my propagation that I currently have going on. Really freaking cute. Um, but all three of those are from my room. So those are going to actually be more like droopy. I don't know, guys. Okay. But they're all going to be different plants, obviously. Um, this is from Amazon. It smells really good. I think it's April Breeze scent. And then this is just body lotion I put in there. Um, candle from Target. Great. Shelf is from Amazon. And then this way we have these two posters and then they're in the little wooden frames. And then the macrame hanging thing. All of this is from Amazon. So when you're shitting, this is that. Voila. You just have this very nice view for the poops. And then the last big change was just getting different towels which they all now go together. As you can see, they all are like the same four different towels. And then of course, as you guys saw, I just made the different labels like so. Voila. <laughs> anyway, that is the bathroom. That's the final product, which I'm super excited about because I do actually kind of record in here a lot, which is kind of weird. I vlog a lot and for like night routines and stuff, you know, I'm in here. 
So it's cuter background. It's more me and my aesthetic. I'm very happy about it. It gives me Chikatita happiness, which was the freaking goal. Back to commentary, Eden. Alrighty, folksies. We have achieved Chikatita tier serotonin, and that is phenomenal. Well, within my bathroom, we're working on different categories in my life. It's a it's a work in progress, but we're one step closer in enveloping myself within Chikatita tier happiness, which is the freaking goal. Baby steps are still steps. So if this video was at all entertaining, or if you enjoyed it, enjoyed the creativity, got inspired, blah, 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 anything like that, please make sure you consider sticking around, hitting that subscribe button, and checking out my other social medias because I like to think that I put a lot of effort into various things. I, I'm just the type of person that puts a lot of effort into a lot of different things. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again in the future. Alrighty, guys. Bye.